So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about transponder mux bonder to mux to mux connectivity. So here I have taken the um, CMD44 as a mux to mux. CMD44 is basically uh, the mux to mux having the fixed channel for each port. Means each port has a specific frequency and the transponder mux bonder which is producing the same wavelength can be connected on the port. So this is the fixed frequency mux to mux. So let's see. In this video, we will discuss about the transponder mux bonder to mux to mux connectivity on the same side. It means the transponder mux bonder and the CMD44 is placed on the same location. You can say transponder mux bonder to mux to mux is always on the same side. So I have just taken a circuit reference. You can see here we will discuss about this connectivity transponder mux bonder to CMD44. So we are focusing on this part. So this is the basically the circuit diagram example or you can say the DWDM signal flow of a particular channel or a particular wavelength. So one wavelength is going from one end to the another end. So I have just taken it, uh, this as a circuit reference and we will focus on this connectivity. Transponder mux bonder to CMD44 on the both side you can see the same connectivity um, is at both location. We will discuss one. Let's see. Transponder mux bonder to mux to connectivity. You can see here this is the CMD44. Uh, you can see the line diagram. This is the uh, you can see this is the transponders or mux bonder. Actually, basically this this is the mux bonder diagram. So let's see. So here the for the explanation explanation I have taken the 100G motor card. So it, this is the 100G motor card and this is the CMD44 100 gigahertz. So CMD44 is used to connect the uh, OT and MOTR, OT for the optical transponder, MOTR for the mux bonder to fixed channel, 44 channel. The ITOT colored channel, one lambda is produced by OT MOTR line port and connected to CMD44 fixed channel ports. The OT and MOTR TX port is connected to the CMD44 channel in port and OT MOTR RX port is connected to CMD44 channel out port. So this is the like connectivity, which TX port is connected to which uh, in port and which RX port is connected to in port. So transponder mux bonder has the TX and RX port and that is connected to uh, CMD44 in and out port. So let's connectivity, mux bonder to mux to mux connectivity. So you can see here, this is the CMD44. This is the mux to mux, you can see. And this is the mux bonder. So you can see here, uh, one channel. So this is the line port of the mux bonder and these are the client ports. So you can see the channel out port is connected to the mux bonder RX port and you can see here this TX port will be connected to the let's see this TX port is connected to the channel one in port. So here we have channel one channel one out port port number one and port number two is for the channel one port number one for the channel in and port number two is for the channel out. So channel in is connected to the TX port of the mux bonder and channel out port is connected to the RX port of the mux bonder. In the same way you can see the connectivity between the trans You can see this is a transponder to mux tmux. So this is the same CMD44 or you can see the mux tmux and this is the transponders. So you can see here one line one client port and one line port. So this is the type of transponder card. You can see here channel one out port number two physical port. This is the physical port number two and this is the physical port number one. So basically the for the channel one channel one out which is going from the port two out which is connected to the RX port of the line port of the transponders. And you can see the TX port of the line port is connected to the channel one in port number one. So physical port is the port number one two. Port number one is the channel one in, and port number two is the channel one out. And this is connected to the TX RX of the transponder cars. So this is the physical connectivity between the you can see the transponder to mux T mux. So we have seen the transponder and mux bonder connectivity to the mux T mux. So here I have taken the example of CMD44. In the next video we will discuss about some more mux T mux connectivity with, uh, between the transponder and the mux bonder. So thank you for watching.